Hello everyone. Now we know that Plantae Kingdom has five divisions, namely Thallophyta, Bryophyta, Pteridophyta, Gymnosperm, and Angiosperm. Now, is there an easy way to remember these five divisions? How to classify plants into these five divisions? Let us follow a systematic and structural approach. How is it possible that many multicellular plants are classified into only few groups, that is, broadly five divisions? If you see, the first level of classification among plants depends on whether the plant body has well differentiated distinct components or not. So, if well differentiated components like stem, leaf, etc. are not present, then the plant belongs to the division Thallophyta. If not, then next we look whether the differentiated body part has special tissues for the transport of water and other substances within it or not. If this is not present, then it belongs to the division Bryophyta, like moss. So we can say Bryophytes do not have any vascular tissues. If the plant has vascular tissues, we see if it produces seed or not. If not, it is a pteridophyte, that is, it reproduces through spores. For example, fern. Now, if it produces seeds, it's a phanerogam. So we ask, does it bear fruit or not? If it doesn't bear fruits, it belongs to the division gymnosperm, which bears naked seeds. That is, seeds are not inside the fruit. For example, pine. And if it bears seeds, it belongs to the division angiosperm. Lastly, if it is an angiosperm, we ask, does it have one cotyledon or two? If it has one cotyledon, it is a monocot, for example, coconut. And if it has two cotyledons, it is a dicot, for example, mango. So we see, it is a very structural approach. We went from very basic characteristics to more advanced characteristics, which are found in the more advanced plants. So remember, the five divisions in the plantae kingdom are Thallophyta, Bryophyta, Pteridophyta, Gymnosperm and Angiosperm. That's all for now. Bye-bye.